Hello, welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. You guys, I'm going to do a Mercury retrograde reading just to give you an idea of these energies. Now, Mercury went retrograde um, October 31st, Halloween, and it will stay retrograde all the way through November 20th. Now, for those who don't understand what retrograde means, that means that the planet appears to be moving backwards. But when that happens, it affects us. Um, so with Mercury, and th this actually started happening yesterday with me, my computer just shut off several times by itself. Didn't know what was wrong with it. My computer started, uh, excuse me, my cell phone, I was trying to type a text message, just started typing. I have heard so many people say that they've had issues with the TVs, the cell phones. I, I lost my glasses, misplacing things. These are some of the occurrences that will happen with Mercury retrograde. It does affect our communication. Communication meaning anything, how we speak, you know, how we, um, you know, uh, relate to one another as far as passing information. And so it will tamper with that as you can see this is not a time to uh, begin any contracts either this is not the time if you've already started them prior to the retrograde that's okay but it's really not um, suggested that you begin anything during this time period um, this is a very powerful Mer Mercury retrograde and also remember that we're just coming off the the energies of the new moon in Scorpio okay so we're still kind of feeling the effects of that Scorpio is a very emotional sign um, Scorpio is in Terra is the death. So that means big changes can happen in your life, whether you want them to or not. Universe is going to push out anything that does not serve your highest good during this time. Okay. All right, you guys, if this is your first time joining with us, thank you so much. Please subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell. Every time the, um, I release a reading, you'll be notified. Remember to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Also, remember that these energies in the reading I'm about to do will flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it will relate to your partner, okay? All right, you guys, I do have your other readings coming out for November. And I know I'm a little behind with your October to November love forecast. I will be doing that soon. And also, the full moon will be in Taurus. Um, on November 12th. So we'll be um, rolling that one out as well. Okay. But in the meantime, let's try to get an idea what these energies are like for the Mercury retrograde from now until November 20th. All right. On to your reading. Hello, my Libras. Okay. Let's get right into the reading. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, what messages need to go for? For the sign of Libra, as it relates to the Mercury retrograde for October 31st through November 20th. Messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as it relates to the Mercury retrograde. Okay. All right. Let's see your overarching energy. Okay, my Libras, you do have an angel code coming through. You have two, three, four. You could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or it could be Aries here. You have the Sun in reverse, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Two of Cups in reverse. And your overarching energy is the emperor. This is like the father of the deck. So somebody could be dealing with the father here. This is somebody also that um, is, is in control and authority. Could be a boss. Uh, but it's somebody, you're dealing with somebody who's in authority over you or they're, they're trying to position themselves to be in authority over you. But this also could represent somebody who has a lot of control in the situation because you're starting with the sun, which is somebody's depressed, somebody's sad. This is negativity, okay, um, that's going on right now. And then with this queen of pentacles, um, this queen of pentacles is somebody who takes care of home though. This is somebody who um, handles money well. This is financial security. So you could be sad about what's happening right now with this money. Or this person right here could be um, um, handling the money and not sharing with you, which is making you depressed. That's what could be going on. But this represents expansion. So this also could represent the energy that you're coming out of Libra and you're going into this because it is showing a progression where you're making a choice. You're looking ahead now. You know, look, he has his hand. He's decided which one he wants. So this could represent expansion. This could represent um, traveling as well. 
Okay, so this could be the energy that you're coming out of. And when I think about your previous readings, that makes sense that you could be going into this now, but somebody's not talking. Okay, this is broken communication. This is tension. This is imbalance. So we're starting with, let me look at your cards, putting them all together. We're starting with this sadness, this depression, but then this energy comes about that somebody who has it together that's taking care of home, um, making a decision. They're going to be expanding, but they're not talking about it. They're not talking about it. And maybe because they're not talking because talking has gotten them in trouble. And maybe this they, now they have control of this situation that they're not going to talk. Um, could be a romantic relationship. Maybe they're not, they're not going to talk. They're just going to do. They're just going to do what they need to do now. Um, now that they're coming out of this energy. Um, and the ways that, and, and everybody's looking in different directions too. So it looks like they're not on one accord, okay? Or they're not really focused on anybody individual, uh, anybody collectively. It looks like they're doing their own individual things. And that could definitely what be, could be what's going on right now. Everybody's just decided to do their individual thing. And that could be the sadness in this, but we've made a decision. Okay, we, we there's tension here. We're not talking, but I need to do what I need to do because I'm financially secure without you. Okay, um, that's what that tension is. I can make and I can expand on my own without you. Okay, um, that definitely looks like what's what's happening here. Somebody's making a decision to be more independent and not with somebody anymore because being with that person is making them sad. Okay, and it could be this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Okay. And I think I told you you had an angel code 234, so make sure you look that up. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Nurse, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as it relates to the Mercury retrograde for October 31st through November 1st. Oh my goodness. Okay. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically um, improve. So yeah, see somebody's not talking. Somebody's not even friends right now. And it's, it's causing for a depressed situation. Somebody's very, very sad about it. And again, could be because this person right here, they know what they want. They know what they're doing. They're expanding, but they can't expand with this person because they're not really even talking. And they're trying to stay in control of this situation. And it's twin flames. Passion ignites. Yeah, this is a twin flame relationship. Wow. So if you're dealing with a twin flame relationship, y'all are kind of going through right now. You're kind of going through right now. So use this energy, this Mercury retrograde energy to work for you and not against you. If you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to this can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye.